You might have heard that the building system in Rust is about to receive a significant update. A number of my bases will be affected by that update. Some will require workarounds, some will lose a special feature, and some will no longer be viable. In the following, I will walk you through the most important changes and how they affect my designs. Roof pieces used to be those building blocks that did not care much about where they were placed. You could clip them through virtually every other building block. This has changed. Now, if those roof pieces collide with another building block, they won't place. This affects quite a lot of my designs. Two are no longer viable. One of them is the Raptor. Those triangles below the auto turret pods prevent you from placing the roof ramps. The chat saw is affected as well, as you can no longer place roofs to close off the ceiling. Further, there's a series of bases that relied on roof stability bunkers to buff the door rate path. For my recent base, the Alamo, don't worry too much. Once the base is fully upgraded, the lack of a roof stability seal does not lower the minimum rate cost. In other designs, such as the Leech, the Valkyrie or the Phoenix, the lack of the roof stability seal will reduce the cost of door rates by 5 rockets. Since you don't need to leave space for the roof, you can use more shotgun traps as a countermeasure, but against experienced raiders, they won't make up for the bunker seal. One base that is marginally affected is the original Frustrator X. It used a floor tile poking through roof ramps. However, this did not increase the rate cost, it just made moving through the base more fluent. So don't worry about it, omit the floor tile and place the roof without it. The other change with major repercussions is that foundation steps have disappeared. They were replaced by ramps which can be placed onto existing foundations. This unfortunately makes several of my designs obsolete. Disconnectable TC designs, such as the ones shown in the Exopod or the Trinity, are no longer viable. The foundation steps were used to cover a gap in the wall, without the game registering them as connected to that wall. They were also extremely versatile in multi-TC building, as they could be deployed in spaces where the game would not allow to place square foundations. This affects the Retaliator and the multi-TC original Frustrator X. For the Retaliator, there might be a workaround. The Multi-TC original Frustrator X, however, is likely no longer viable. Armored foundation steps in particular were solid, but did not provide stability to any floor tile above them. This allowed us to create multi-stability bunkers, where breaking a single bunker seal would open up several separated bunkers at the same time. Unfortunately, this patches the quadruple bunker base. This video, of course, just scratches the surface. Nevertheless, I felt it was important to not let you face the upcoming wipe unprepared. Evil Wurst, out.